Good day, everyone. Ali is here from Safi Financial Network. Today is November 22nd, 2023. Here is another daily analysis, starting with the S&P 500. As usual, market um, had another uptick today. So uh, volume yesterday was pretty light. And then, as I said yesterday video, if we get confirmation with a big uh, or high volume on the to the downside so that would be kind of like the confirmation for the next move or corrective move to to the down but because of the volume uh, we should just be careful about this because that can be just the hiccup before another uh high so market just carved out a bit today <clears throat> not that much but still it was an uptake for for the market and we will give market benefit of doubt as i said before it is pretty overstretched over about and still overbought can stay overbought um, more and more, uh, more than you think. We are kind of like at this ending diagonal. I don't know if this is a bearish wedge that we're going to just break through to the downside or we're going to rip up and then coming down again for a corrective move. Right now, we are just getting above these pivotal points. We are getting into this gap and we are kind of like a flirting about uh, with this gap uh, uh, as well. So that's kind of like interesting. As long as market stays here, we can go higher. If it goes down for a corrective move, we will take it as a buy my opportunity. So volume was pretty light today. Again, 55 million for SPY, which is S&P 500. And as you see here, uh, RSI just getting to the overbought condition. This means we can stay there for another week or two before a correction. So for those ones that you uh, that they're saying, Ali, you're just saying correction is coming, correction is coming. Yes, as I said, correction is coming or pullback is coming for the buying opportunity. So shorting the market is very, very difficult, specifically when we have this fantastic momentum to the upside. But you know, we had this before, we had this before, and also we had this before as well. So look what happened after when we are getting into the corrective move, market can get, can give us lots of buying opportunities. So don't get into the FOMO because I know that lots of people are getting to the FOMO. Hey, we've just missed the rally. Yo, no, you don't miss the rally because market always, always, always gives us opportunity like this, like this. Lots of people just thought that from the October timeframe, they missed the rally. Yes, they missed the rally a couple of times, a couple of occasions. First of all, when you are in rally, everyone is saying we are missing rally. When market is getting back to the corrective move, everyone say, okay, rally is over. We are just getting to the down, downtrend and we are just getting back to the bearish momentum. So don't pay attention to the sentiment. Regardless if you're bull or bear, don't pay attention because sentiment can change quickly. Like a blink an eye, sentiment can change. So um, just to look at the levels, look at the look at the chart, and also look at the overall um, stock market, like compared to the indexes, the one that we are doing here, and uh, the other analysis as yourself um, I can put on your chart. Um, that could be helpful for you and for your uh, future positioning. Otherwise, if you want to just look at the sentiment, uh, that's that's not a good way, guys. Okay, so I try to emphasize this stuff in my daily analysis, in my videos, just to let you know that the whole entire year, last year, we were bullish, still we are bullish. We are not um, taking any short position, I should say, um, a put option in our investment portfolio. Yeah, for trading, we short the market. I did the short the market yesterday with a very, very minimum stop loss and just a stop hit it today and nothing harmed, nothing hurt my portfolio. Just one day trade goes to the stop loss. That's it, period. So that trade is finished. But for my investment portfolio, for my um, kind of like swing trading, I'm just a, long and taking long position as long as market gives us opportunity i am getting to the long position so far market is bullish and we will give the market benefit of that moving on to nasdaq which was positive today as well so nasdaq had another uptick today and nasdaq is establishing itself above a july top right now we are at the high of the year so that's pretty interesting to see how it's going to react to this 15300 51, uh, sorry, 16,351, which is going to be a 350 points above the current level. But 
if we get there, I should say we are getting into important level and we can see some kind of like a pullback. Still, I'm looking for a pullback, to be honest. And if we get a pullback right now, that would be much more healthier if we get stretched up here without any pullback. And that pullback would be very, very sharp. Moving on to Dow Jones, which was positive as well today. So Dow uh, actually was better compared to the other indexes. Uh, Dow is getting into this supply area, still is in range of supply area, which is going to be 35,000 35, to 35,400. So that level or this level is important. If we take this level, any pullback could be great buying opportunity for the next move. Even if we get a pullback, let's say tomorrow or end of this week to this area, that would be kind of like a good reversal. If you see a good reversal here, that would be a good buying opportunity. So again, just position yourself based on market condition. Market is in a bullish momentum and uh, specifically uh, the bigger picture is pretty bullish here. Um, if you go to weekly chart, which I'm going to cover that in a weekly analysis uh, end of each week. This bullish structure is very, very powerful, and we can get to new all-time high for Dow Jones Industrial. So I'm not going to short the Dow for now. Moving on to gold, and gold had a reversal today. It's kind of like a pullback to this area. Um, nothing bad, nothing good. It's just a natural pullback. If we get somewhere around here, which is going to be 1960, I should say, that could be kind of like another buying opportunity, I should say, for this level, which is going to be a double top or even new all-time high. So I'm not expecting gold crash at this stage of the game. I'm moving on to crude. Um, crude had a kind of like a volatile day. Again, back testing this area. It's kind of like a forming a reverse head on shoulder here. It's very, very weak one just because this pivot is not above this. Even it's not level with this. So if it gets above 878, it can stretch up to 82. That's the maximum level that I have. Still, I'm looking for after that, kind of like a, um, getting back to the downside or downtick momentum. A crude is very, very fragile, and uh, be careful with that one. Starting with yield or individual names, they had an uptick today, so a yield still consolidating here. And this consolidation can end to um up to a lower level tlt treasuries has had an uptick today not a bad session at all vix um again another down take 3.75 percent down vix is getting to 12 dollars, which is very very interesting we didn't see we saw this dragonfly doji or gravestone but we didn't see the follow through so we just gap down and that could be kind of like exhaustive gap if you ask me uh, Dixie, um, move to the upside, getting back to this small supply area here. Um, that was a natural reaction. If it consolidates here, we can see another pop here. Possible scenario is going to be a 105, and that's it. So I'm not looking for more Dixie optic down the road. Moving on to Magma Indicator, $14 to the upside. Pretty nice move. Apple, $0.67 cents up. No correction at all so look at the momentum momentum one day down two days up one day down two days up and uh, today apple again another uptick 67 cents up amazon nice surge to the upside it was actually one of the best one in techies uh, two dollar 81 cents up meta four dollar 51 cents up good price action for meta momentum is up microsoft new all-time high then coming back down again four dollar 78 cents up Google, dollar 52 cents up, pretty nice momentum for Google. And Netflix, three dollar five cents up. Tesla coming down. So Tesla, I don't know if this is going to be a consolidation before the next surge to 250 or this is it. So we can just get back to the bearish momentum. I believe Tesla can have another upside tick to 250, 255 area maximum. Moving on to semiconductors, a sem match uh, coming down today, socks a dollar 64 cents up, Taiwan Semiconductor 24 cents up consolidation here. AMD, pretty nice surge to the upside, getting into this supply area, rejected back down. So this is very important because this is first time this AMD getting back to the supply area, nicely getting back down, 125 tests that coming back down, but good candle though. Um, NVIDIA, after earning yesterday, it came down, 
However, it was not that ugly. So Nvidia hold up pretty well, I should say 2.46% is not a bad ugly day. It is a bad day, but it is not bad ugly day. Texas Instruments um, consolidation here, 50 cents up. Lamb Research, $10 up, and not a bad price action. Moving on to banking sector, XLF, Financial Spider, pretty nice move to the upside. So this one is one of the best uh, performer today, and uh, financials were strong today, and that's why Dow was up. Uh, KBE, 19 cents up. KRE, 19 cents up. A good price action for both. Consolidation, that can lead higher. JP Morgan, 36 cents up. Goldman Sachs, 3.67 3 cents up. And Bank of America, 3 cents up. And Wells Fargo, 18, 6, 18 cents up. Not a bad price action at all for banking sector. This sector is overstretched, but we can see more upside. Gold miners, it was interesting. So gold was down, but gold miners hold up pretty well. GDX, 4 cents up. GDX, 13 cents down. Not a bad price action. AEM, this one is consolidating. Again, gold miners, just be patient because when it rips, it can rip. It can just spike up very, very sharply to the upside. And I believe the time is there. We just need to be patient. Next two, three months it's going to be a fantastic for gold miners. Newmont, 27 cents up. Franco Nevada coming back up today. A bullish Harami, dollar 69 cents up. And gold barrack, 5 cents up. Not a bad price action. Gold miners can be spiky. Moving on to XLE. Knee-jerk reaction to the upside. Nice move. Nice comeback. These ones can hit. I should say 87, but this is a top information, folks. I know lots of people are bullish on this. Yeah, you can trade this for even 5% up, but ultimately it, it's going to go down in my idea. XOP, $0.07 cents up today. OIH, $1.81 cents down. Exxon, $0.45 cents down. Chevron, $0.29 cents up today. So uh, this can be one of the best because it was oversold. It was down. Um, kind of like it capitulated to the downside. I should say Chevron can hit to 156, 158, and then reversal is coming. I have some calculation. Chevron can go all the way down to here uh, in the next downtrend momentum. So just be careful on that one. Okay, I believe I covered everything. Um, nothing spectacular happened for the market. Volume is pretty light and still momentum is up. Again, be careful with shorting the market. Wait for a buying opportunity for the next corrective move. We are seasonality in a bullish season, so take it as a granted. Have a fantastic evening. See you on the chart. Bye-bye.